and welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to show you how to do this back to front beautiful little blanket. If you want a lighter, this is quite a thick stitch blanket. If you want a lighter one, then use a bigger hook and you'll get a more open pattern. This nice thick blanket is beautiful for keeping children or even yourself warm. There is no stitch count for the foundation chain. Just do the foundation chain whatever length you want it to be. Now there's no stitch count to this blanket at all. So just do your foundation chain length that you want it. So I've got my little sample. I'm just going to show you a little sample of this because I've got quite a few videos of blankets to make that I've been busy with. Go into the first, the fourth stitch in the chain. One, two, three, four. You're going to do a treble crochet into the fourth stitch in the chain. You use the crochet hook size that tells you on the yarn that you're going to use. So into each stitch, I'm going to put one treble crochet all the way along. So put one treble crochet into each stitch. So I've done one treble crochet into each stitch. I'm going to chain three. One, two, three and turn. Now we're going to do a treble crochet, then a front post treble crochet. A treble crochet into the top of the next stitch, then a front post treble crochet. One into the top of the next stitch, and then a front post treble crochet. So we're going to start with a treble crochet into the top of the next stitch. Then you're going to do a front post treble crochet. That means you're going to put your yarn over and work around the post of the stitch, around this part of the stitch. That's a front post treble crochet if you're in the UK. A treble crochet into the top of the next stitch. Then a front post treble crochet around the next stitch. One into the top of the next stitch and one around the post of the next stitch. Now this is where it's similar to the mini waffle. But when we do the next row, we're going to do the opposite. When you do the mini waffle, you keep your treble, you keep your front posts on top of each other. But with this stitch, we're going to do the opposite and one around the post till you get to your second last stitch. Now your last stitch will be a treble crochet. Now remember the stitch that you finished on. You finished on a front post. We're going to chain three, one, two, three so we finished on a front post so when we turn around so we'll start this next stitch with a front post stitch so whatever you finish your row on that's what you'll start your next one on and that that's what makes it back to front so we're going to work around the post of this stitch yarn over and through your two loops yarn over and through your two loops now this is a front post stitch, so we're going to do a treble crochet on the top of this stitch. And then we'll do a front post stitch again. So we're doing this row back to front. We're doing the opposite of what we did on the last row. So your front post ones here, they'll get a treble crochet. And your treble crochet, I'll get a front post. 
We'll do that all the way to the end. And that's what you're going to repeat. As long as you start your new row on the same stitch as you finished your last row, that will make your stitches back to front. It will mix them around on each row. And it makes this really pretty thick stitch. And you can make hats and scarves with this as well. It's lovely for that. You can make anything with it. And it's a pretty stitch if you're making children's sweaters around the post all the way to the end. So we're at the end and I'm going to do a treble crochet into this. This is the last stitch in my pattern. And then remember, you have to do a treble crochet on the end. This keeps your blanket straight. It keeps the edge of the blanket straight. So we're finished on a treble crochet of the pattern. Chain three, one, two, three and turn. So we'll do a treble crochet on the next stitch. And then a front post stitch. And this is what you do to mix them. Treble crochet. And then your front post. Then a treble crochet all the way to the end. So that one's set back so we know what to do a treble crochet, a front post treble crochet around that one. So we're finishing this row, the pattern row, on a front post treble crochet. We're doing our last treble just to keep the edge straight on that chain of three. Just go into the third stitch and the chain of three. So remember your pattern is from the second stitch in to your second last stitch. Your last stitch and your first stitch will always be either a chain of three or a treble crochet. So we're going to chain three, one, two, three and turn. So we finished on a front post on the pattern. So we'll start on a front post with the next stitch. And that is what you do row after row. So we'll continue for as many rows as you want on your blanket. Just remember and do your foundation chain the length that you want it. There is no stitch count and use whatever hook the yarn says that you're using. If you want a lighter blanket, which is slightly thinner, you can use a bigger hook and this will open up the pattern. Just remember, whatever you finish your row on, if you finish on a front post treble crochet, if you finish on a front post treble crochet, you'll start your next row on a front post treble crochet. If you finish on a treble crochet, you'll start your next pattern row on a treble crochet. Remember, do not count that treble crochet on the end. Your pattern finishes on your second last stitch. So if that's a front post, you'll start your next one on the next row on the front post. If this is a treble crochet, you'll start your next stitch on a treble crochet on your next row. And that keeps this pattern back to front. I'll show you my large blanket. I'm in the middle of doing this one. And look how pretty this is. 
and this is the stitch back to front on each row. So if you finish a treble crochet, you'll start on a treble crochet. But it makes the next stitch back to front. If you can see what I mean, you've got a front post here and a front post here and your next one's over here. So it's back to front. It gives it completely reversible. It is so cosy and warm. It's really pretty. Brilliant for hats and scarves and blankets. So give this a try. Give it a try. I think you'll really like it. It's really easy. As long as you remember your last stitch is not part of the pattern. And that is your treble crochet. Your pattern is from your first stitch to the second last stitch. Your first one on the row is always a chain three and your last one on the row will always be a treble crochet which does not count as part of the pattern your pattern is from here to here from this stitch here to this stitch here as long as you remember that your stitches will come out back to front and you'll get this really pretty pattern so thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Please click on that subscribe button. Help me get up to 200,000 subscribers. Now you do not get any money from YouTube at all for subscribers. So it doesn't matter if you have hundreds of thousands of subscribers. You don't you do not make any money from subscribers. It's moral support. The more subscribers you have, the more, obviously, the more moral support you get from your community. If you press on the bell icon down here, then YouTube will tell you when I put up another tutorial. So thank you very much for watching. Until the next time, happy crafting and I'll see you all again soon. Goodbye.